Hi, Paul Little here from Steampunk General Store at 2219 63rd Street, Uptown Kenosha, inside of Don's Hobbies. You can get a hold of me at 262-705-2268. And right now you're about to watch Deadgear's Dark Coffin Classics. Coffin Classics. I'm your host, Steger Winter. I'm here with my lovely Storm and Black Cat the Vampire. Hey, Black Cat, what's up? You finally made it. I know. I had a lot of pillaging to do, um, some pirating, you know. Awesome. Yeah, expanding my crew. Yeah. Yes. And you met Storm? Yeah. I have. We especially out in the open seas. Lots of storms. Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry yeah. about that. I know. <laughs> I deal with it. It's okay. My crew does what he, they need to do. So. Yeah. 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 Some go overboard, but oh well. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta replenish, do. replenish. Yeah, that's yeah, right. that's right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we got. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, we got some exciting stuff. But you know what? There's one thing. Every time you come to visit us, it seems like we get this like really weird looking dude coming. In. Is he, he following you around? He's like my sh inadvertent like shadow that I don't want. Huh? Like, are you talking about a red guy? Yeah, I've seen a red guy. I just seen him. I just seen him. Did you? I he just seen him. He just popped in. He he he's supposed to. He, he says he's guarding me he and making sure I'm safe. He looks like that Deadpool guy. Yeah, I, I, I you know what? I think Deadpool would probably be a little bit wittier, um, okay. but he's deaf, and so he's trying to okay. sign, and I don't understand it. Yeah. Okay. If, I just seen something. I just seen something. Yeah. yeah. So something right off. Oh, here we go. Here we go again. Right oh, left. This guy. <clears throat> okay. there's, there's a little history between him and. Uh, yeah. Me. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. Well, someone put a hit out on me. Oh. And he was supposed to come and do me in. But yeah. apparently know. he decided to go goo goo gaga over me, and I was like, go away. But uh, he didn't listen. Yeah. Oh, so. Okay, well, I guess we will have to protect you so here it's like in a, the castle. So it's like a Deadpool stalker. <laughs> yes, it oh. is. So yeah. I have to protect both of you guys. Yeah, I yes. guess so. Got you. Yeah, so. So anyway, very hard. Uh, we're going to, I got to talk about this movie really quick. So, okay. 1957 okay. film. Yes. <clears throat> and uh, it's called, uh, I Was a Teenage Werewolf. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. This just seems really grisly. Oh, man. What? It seems really grisly. Oh yeah, well it's starring Michael Landon. Michael Landon? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. Whip Bizzle. Everybody mm -hmm. knows Michael Landon. Well, for me, seeing I watch I'm so many. I'm hearing I hear too. But anyway, so Michael Landon goes way either. back when. Uh, I don't see anybody in Amtrak? I listened. I watched okay. him during his uh, run in, on Bonanza, yes. where he played one of the uh, Cartwright rights. Yes, I remember um, that. Yeah. And then he went on to, to, to do uh, a sitcom called Seven. Pen Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! That was. Do so you remember that one? Oh yes. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay, yes. so I'm just playing with my hair. Okay. Why am I? I'm not Maybe it's a skull. Oh, you think it's just me? Yeah. Of course, Doctor. Yes. So, so anyway, 
We got Whip Bizzle in the okay, movie. Okay. And Whip Bizzle's played in a lot of horror movies and uh -huh. also a lot of westerns. He's made even a couple appearances with Shao Wayne. Ah. So, yeah, which is really cool. Yeah. Oh, so. Hey, you over. get out of here right now. Wait. Woo! I seen red. <laughs> what? Are you I sure you're not seeing red? Oh, Hi. that fool. Okay, Hello. that's what it. Okay, my friends, so. We're gonna turn you into this movie. We got the top 10 tonight. We got mm -hmm. the Igor's Morbid Cooking Tips. But anyway, we are going to turn you into this movie and enjoy. Tony, I know you can get fresh. Come on over here. Wait for me in the car, Joe. All right, Jimmy. Go ahead, you tell me. Well, Sergeant Donovan, I don't like to blow a whistle on a pal. A pal yet. Well, you started it. Look, you started it. You slapped me on the shoulder. This is a friendly tap. I don't know what you got so excited about. I don't about. like that kind of friendship. I don't like to be hit from behind by anybody any time. I don't like to be touched. Okay, okay. The way you jump me, you think I tossed a brick at you. Right off, he challenges me. And I tried to kibitz him out of it. I'm beginning to get the picture. Yeah, and I even told him I was sorry. That's right. I apologized. You can ask any of the guys. Didn't that satisfy him? No, he wanted to fight. I know I'm bigger than he is. But he wanted to fight. Look, what are you, the referee or in his corner? No, Tony, I'm really in your corner. If I can just get you to see it. Well, I guess you can pick up your marbles. I'll try to low-key this in the report. But what your principal wants to do, well, that's her business. Now, wait a minute. Before you go, I want to see you two fellas shake hands. 
Come on, come on. It'll look better in the report. Sure, a happy ending, huh? I'm sorry, Tony. <laughs> I guess I lost my head. I burn easy. You know, Tony, you really ought to smile more often. Sure. Win friends and charm snakes, huh? That's just what I wanted to talk to you about. You're suspicious of everybody. You act like the whole world's your enemy, the way you flare up. Oh, uh, people bug me. That's right, hide behind jive talk. People bug you. Well, people bug me, too. But I don't go around clouding everybody. Come on, finish your beep, will you? All I know is you've been in trouble a half a dozen times. You don't have any official record yet, but you're sure working up to one. What, you got a crystal ball, huh? I pulled you out of fights three times myself in the last month. You're just lucky there weren't any formal complaints. The time before this, in the supermarket. It was the checker's mistake. Yeah, but you didn't even give him a chance to rectify it. Boom, you throw a carton of milk right at him. Look, Tony, I'm just trying to tell you that you need help. What kind of help? Well, there's a prominent doctor, Dr. Brandon. He's a consulting psychologist out at the aircraft plant. He's been working with the police department without charge, trying to help difficult kids adjust. What's this adjust kick? Polish off the rough edges. Adjust. Adjust to what? To everything. Teachers, parents, other students. You know, some kids have a tougher time than others, and it's not necessarily their fault. Now, this Dr. Brandon, well, he's modern. He uses hypnosis. Oh, no. No! No head shrinker for me, thank you. You know, that's all I need. That's all I need. Tony the Flip. No, sir, thank you. You keep the man in the white coat for the goofs. I can take care of myself. The way you have up to now? The way I have. Then you won't let anybody help you. Not into a straitjacket, I won't. Look, uh, you hold me on any charge? No. Then I can go. Yeah, yeah, you can go. This is the last warning, Tony. If you get into trouble again, don't expect it to be a breeze like this. I can't let you off. Okay. I heard you. Is everything all right, Tony? Sure it is. What did Officer Donovan say? I don't want to talk about it. I've had enough yakety yak to last me till the end of the term. Look, I'm, I'm sorry, Arlene. I say things, I do things, I, I don't know why. I try to control them, it's too late. I've, I've gone too far. I don't know. I, I, I get a certain feeling and I have to... I don't know. I just don't know. Tony, you must try. Yeah, I'll try. But not Donovan's way. What's his way? He wants me to go to this, this head shrinker, Dr. Brandon. Like, like I was a flip or something. Is that the way he said it? No, he, he sprinkled a little sugar on it. But I'm not having any, thank you. Oh, Tony. Okay. Okay, I'll try. But my way. Come on, I'll take you home. Was it today? What's the difference? Your principal called, said it was your fault. Why does she bother you? Because I'm your father. She said I'm supposed to discipline you. I told her at home you never needed discipline, not even when your mother was alive. I don't know why she has to drag you into it. Look, boy, you missed the point. Well, if you know, tell me. Sometimes you just have to do things the way people want them done. That makes them happy and they leave you alone. I used to have a foreman like that. 
Every time I assembled a motor my way, he beefed. <laughs> but when I assembled it... Dad, I don't like to be pushed around. Tony, sometimes you just have to do it the other fellow's way. Well, I gotta be going. Sorry I can't eat with you. Night shift again. Oh, there are a couple of lamb chops in the icebox. I season them the way you like. Just set them in the pan. Dad, I can cook a chop. And be sure you cook them. And don't eat them raw like you did the hamburger yesterday. Tony, think over what I said, would you? I mean, about not being so stubborn. Just might make things a lot easier all around. Okay, Dad. and he's not even late. Maybe you're beginning to train him. That's no way to call for a date. When I courted your mother, well, we... Things were different then. Well, I still want my daughter treated with respect. Your father's right, Arlene. Listen to him. Oh, Dad, it's got nothing to do with respect. That's the way all the kids do it. But I still can't understand why you only date him. Oh, not that I have anything specific against Tony. But there's Steve Harmon, the druggist's son, and there's Willie Blake, oh, and there's... Mother. I date Tony because I like him. In fact, I like him a lot. And you just ask him to come in, Arlene. Go ahead. We won't bite him. Oh. All right. Tony, would you come in for a minute? Hi. Good evening. Hello. Hi. Tony, I like things formal once in a while. We just wanted to look at you before you take our daughter out to a party. You don't have any objections? No, I don't. Well, then why don't you call for her properly in her home? Now, Dad. No, no, no. A little man-to-man -man talk won't hurt anybody. Well, I would, only you don't look too pleased. No, really, you know, sometimes when I walk in that door, I think you're going to swat me with a baseball bat or something. Oh, I'm sure that's just your imagination. It must be. Unless you feel guilty about something. Now, Dad, you promised. It's the same. Parents of a young girl, and especially a pretty one like Arlene, like to feel proud of the young man that takes her out. A young man who keeps busy with the right kind of things. Like sprinkle a lawn, take out a paper route, haul boxes in the market. Where's the opener, Mary? On the sink, dear. Any job that keeps a teenager out of mischief and builds a good reputation. Oh, yeah, like, like our bank cashier. You know the one that's missing? The guy that ran off and lost it all at the track. Now, being a smart aleck won't do it. You've got a bow to authority. Everybody's on my back today. Oh, Daddy, it's Halloween, and will we have to go? Yes, we don't want them to miss any fun. Okay, okay, I've said my piece. On one thing you can be sure of, Mr. Logan. At least I'll protect your daughter. All right, kids, have a good time. Remember now, I want you home by 12. No excuses now. 12. You heard what Dad said. Not after midnight. Hey, what got into your dad? You heard about the fight. So? It's over. But I heard more. More? Now, Tony, don't flare up. And please let me say it through once. I... I asked about this Dr. Brandon. Now, if he could really help you, it would be wonderful for both of us. And it would make things easier both at school and here at home. Don't forget about the four years of waiting. College and all. Please, Tony. Arlene, get this straight and get it final. 
I'm not going to any doctor like Dr. Brandon. Not even if you have to? But I don't have to. Now, come on. Forget it. on to Frank. He's got no date. But I came with you. Look, how square can you get? You came with me, so you dance with him. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> I'll clarify it for you. Hey, Frank. You want me? Be my guest. Sure beats you, Center. Supervised entertainment, eight to ten. Square dances and waltzes, and a cigarette is a crime. Oh. Scooby Doo. Well. well what do I do? What do I do? Either too much or too little. You know, I thought this was going to be a costume party. <laughs> Boy, this pad sure is crazy. And don't forget, it was Tony who found it and got permission to use it. But is it really haunted? Boo! Oh! Stop scaring me. Is this a haunted house? Do I have to call all the signals for you? Well, you don't have to scare me to death. Sometimes I wonder why I date you. Because you dig me and I dig you. No, Vic. Sometimes I don't understand you at all. The understatement of the year. <laughs> hear this, hear this. Vic's gonna sing this new crazy record for us right now. My anymore. I want a gal with a lot of dough. When I find her, we're gonna swing up to the preacher with a wedding ring. Tell me where she is, cause I don't know. So eeny, meeny, my anymore. I've been looking all over town, but so far she ain't been around. Someday I'll meet her and then I'll say, shoot, bitty, baby, we're on our way. Hurry up now and follow me, but don't forget to bring your dough, me. You're feeling sad or blue You just call me baby and I'll run to you But if you ever leave me You're gonna pay Fifty dollars alimony every day So I'll be yours from this day on But only till your money's gone Rich girls sure are hard to find But I'll keep looking till I lose my mind She's bound to show up eventually Then I'll be rolling in security but where she's hiding, I don't know. So eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo.
Pearl. Hey, Pearl. <laughs> we got a nice present for Vic in that closet. You know he's always the life of the party and he knocks himself out to entertain us? Well, the kids got together to get him this present. Go on, you give it to him. You're his girl. Oh, I'd be glad to. Welcome back, my friends. Well, I'll tell you what, isn't this like uh, really crazy? Uh, that pool came. He, I know. I, I, over I know. Where where'd he go? It's like a, a, he he pops in and out all the time. Half the time I don't know where he where he is, and like sometimes uh, in, up in my like he'll come down off my rafters, off of uh, in like my ca uh, sorry captain's like cabin. Your, yeah. your dad. And it's locked, and so I'm like, how do you oh. get in? Wow. Oh, wow. I'm very oh, annoying. Geez. Say I'm changing or whatever, and mm -hmm. he'll just all of a sudden like peek. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. I thought I heard him breathing in my ear. Really? Yeah. I thought I heard him around uh -huh. here. I've seen somebody in red run uh -huh. that way. So. so someone breathing uh -huh. in your ear. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What do you think of that? That's a new one. I, now she's at least, thinking, you know what? At least he wasn't whispering sweet. Now she thinks he's sad. That's right. All I heard was. Oh. He's hyperventilating. Yeah. <laughs> you think so? What do yeah. you got going on? Uh, it's, it's, I don't know. It felt like webbing. There are there is webbing throughout the whole yeah. like cast. A lot of webbing. So yeah, yeah there yeah. is a lot of webbing. Yeah. Okay, oh, now that wasn't webbing. That was not hand. webbing. I seen a hand. Yeah. Okay. So you anyway, okay. get into the movie. <laughs> so what are we going to start the movie out? They start out with uh, with a fight. Yes, they yeah. Are. So immediately, that's exactly yeah. how they start off. That kid has issues. He's he got does. anger. Anger. Yeah. Yeah. You see how he picked that shovel up and started swinging at him with the shovel? Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. That's called for anger issues. Yeah, that's time. definitely called anger issues. Yeah. Maybe he just had to get some farming done. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yeah, a hole. Maybe. Yeah. For who he was fighting with? Okay. Uh, yeah, that know. could be. Uh, I'm using this later on. <laughs> but, did, but did you notice how the cop, uh, did you mm -hmm. notice how the cop be, uh, he's actually kind of, Side, I mean, he kind of likes Tony or something because he didn't want to bust him. No, he yeah. didn't. It's, well, probably because he's gotten in trouble a couple other times. He's given him chances because he's right. technically a really good kid. Right. It's just he's got all these anger issues that are yeah. uncontrollable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I don't get it. What you poking for? I didn't poke you. <laughs> Remember, I only poke in fun. Never okay. Serious. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Anyway, you, you're right about that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like he needs to see somebody, but well, the, yeah. if the cop did say the inspector, he did say, you yeah. know, you better go see a doctor and get this taken care of. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, what can you do? I mean, he's a teenager. They have hormones. Right. 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 So, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you know, he even blew up at his dad. You know, he, he did, I know. Too. Well, he's, again, the anger issues. It doesn't matter who you are, he's going to blow up at you. Yeah, because his yeah. dad says, yeah, he goes, I left, uh, I left some chops in the, in the icebox for you. He goes, no, I don't want to make chops. And as you <laughs> said, go along with being a teenager. Absolutely. Yes. Yep. Hormones, hormones, hormones. Yay! Hormones all over the place, everywhere. This is why I am glad that I exactly. never had kids. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I got my crew, so that's enough. That's all right. That's all right. I was just going to say, it's, it's, I bet. It's the wedding. Or it's the skeleton. It's the skeleton. They so keep on bothering us. Is, are, the are the spiders too big? Are they? I, I think it's the skeletons. I think they're they're, <laughs> they're getting antsy. Oh, they're, they're so playing with you? The skeletons yeah, you. will play with you. Hey. Ah. I don't know. I don't know. They're playing with you, Decker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did, you notice he got, did you notice he got snotty with uh, his girlfriend's dad, too? Yeah, he did. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea. And yeah, and the dad was just. I like how when he left though with her, he turned around and told the father, "At least I can take care of her." Oh. You know, like yeah, but you don't book. say that to somebody you're taking to their dad. You don't <laughs> say that. <laughs> well, it, it was more or less like he was gonna he would be a defender in a situation. Right, right, and I get that. Yeah. yeah. The end of all time. Brought yep. to you by yep. men. I felt the I felt the testosterone <laughs> coming out. <laughs> okay, your skeletons are, are are starting to like annoy me. Hmm. Is it Scully? Scully, leave her alone. Oh, what? Ah. Is there something? I don't know. We do have big spiders here, I but know. I did see a hand, and I seen somebody ride. Yeah. You said somebody follows you around. I'm guessing he probably followed you here to the castle. Hmm. So anyway, the father tells <laughs> his daughter, Arlene. That uh, she has to be back at the Spoke 
Stroke of Midnight. So yes. what, what, is she going to turn into a pumpkin or something? I don't know. Well, no, she's just going to be home at midnight. It's her curfew. That's when Yeah, but why midnight? Why well, then, oh, think course. about it. Why couldn't it have been be home by 10? That's right. That's even worse. Or 9. I know. That's worse. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Are I don't you know, trying I, to I kill our some, spiders or I what? I see a red thing. A red, red thingy. thing. Yeah. So, I'm okay. gonna have to put him in timeout or something. Okay. Well, right. you know what? When we get back to the, to the ship, I have the break, and I will put him in. Do you think okay. he's with you? Yeah, From what I've seen, probably. That's really? All right. What do you well, think? About, what do you think about the Halloween party? Which one? Hoot hoot. <laughs> Which one? Are you talking the, about the, the Halloween next one? party? The Halloween party that they were uh, that that they went to. Oh yeah, that yeah. it seemed like it was fun. Yeah, it looked like it was fun. Oh yeah, you know, a lot of singing and you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That one kid sang that ter terrible song. Eeny meeny miny mo. Catch tiger by the tail. I was gonna say if something he else. Run away. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry, that's of course you Catch a vampire by by the fang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So or catch a dead pool. Yes. Yeah. 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 I don't know if you ever want that, to catch a dead pool. Yeah, or a dead true. pool. That's true. A dead pool? No. A dead pool, maybe? Yeah. If that's who's following you around. Uh, I can't well, scream. I don't know. Right. Really? So, no, you don't think so? Ah. You know what? If he follows you on your ship, you should make him scrub the deck. Hey, what do you swabby, think I do? What a swabby, toothbrush. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he 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 it. Like he says, with a Q-tip. I, yeah. I was on Captain Paul's ship one time, and he says, everybody on my ship's got to work. He goes, Dagger, you got to you gotta do something. So I grabbed the Q-tip. And he goes, really, Dagger? Why don't you swab the deck? Uh-huh. So, I swab him right? overboard. He can't die. So it's like... Yeah, hey, he regenerates? Oh, boy. Yes. Let's try it. Regenerate. Let's cut one of his fingers off and see if it grows back. Not again. <laughs> what do you think? That was the first thing done, I did. You can't do that. That was the first thing I did. It didn't work. It just grew or back. Let's take it's a hammer. Time. Like in Deadpool, let's take a hammer to his hand and bust up and so it goes limp like So that. what, like smash it with a hammer? Yeah, and see if it grows back. What if we blow the him up? The baby fingers? The biggie baby He hand. will still come back. Oh, you can blow him up. Don't what do you, you think he does for fun every now and then? You have those big it's board balls. You told me. You, 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 on your ship, right? Yeah. The big yes. cannonballs. Cannonballs? Throw at them? Shoot at them? What Not throw at them. He does Shoot for fun. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. he likes to get holy. <laughs> hey, I seen. The pool? Hey, so uh, down now. Why are you there? He is. There, there he is. There he is. Hi, Duffy. Hey. What are you doing? Where are you what going? Where? Are you picking on, on Black Cat? No, that's my wife to be. Yes, wife to be. We're getting married. Uh -huh. Yes. Didn't you get your invitation? We sent you an invitation to the wedding. Oh, I must have burned it. Well, come on, my Deadpool. Bad. You got. You. I got. You're. You're actually going to be our flower girl. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Oh, yeah. There Aww, we go. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thank my friends. So, what we're going to do is oh, we are going to put you into the movie, and when we come back on, we're going to do the top 10. So, get back to the movie. <laughs> Some joke. Maybe you think it's funny, but I don't. And anyway, why does everybody pick on me? You're right, baby. And from now on, anybody picks on you is going to have to fight me. Now, for that, I'll collect a kiss in advance. <laughs> oh, Tony, I bet you had a lot to do with all this. Me? Yes, you. And I bet you're not so innocent, either. Now, why do they always pick on us? It isn't fair. I'll say it isn't. <laughs> Just when I was going to give her a nice present. That's women for you, no appreciation. What present? This one. Oh, oh, isn't that nice? I don't know. Oh, Candy! Oh, 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 o
see Vic. <laughs> hey, Vic. Can you play the big drums like you do the bongos? Just lead me to them. Can I play the big drums better than the bongos? Great, man. They're in there. Yeah? And give me a real long blast, will you? Sure, great, sure. Great, great. Even share it. <laughs> All right, now, okay, let's have some food, okay? <laughs> Come on, gang, let's eat. Yeah, at least there's no gags in the food. This party's really percolating. Yeah. I've never had so much fun. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> 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 Everything normal, my boy. Physical examination is a formality, but a necessary one. Before we enter the mind, we must know the condition of the body. Tony, you're a perfectly normal human being. There's no reason in the world why you can't have a full, wonderful life. If... Yeah, if. If I adjust, don't I? It's the if we're gonna work on, son. We'll work on it together. Okay, Tony? You're the doctor. That's why I'm here. All right, Dr. Wagner. Tony, will you just sit down over here? Thank you. What is it? Just a mild sedative. It, uh, it won't make me dopey or anything, will it? I have to drive home. No, it's simply to relax you. I'll drink it down. I'll be back in a minute. Hugo, prepare the scopolamine. What are you doing? I'm going to mix the serum with the scopolamine. Alfred, do you realize the possible consequences? I realize one thing, that at last, after years of searching, I found a suitable person for my experiment. His record at school, what the school principal told me, and what I learned from Detective Sergeant Donovan, gives him the proper, disturbed, emotional background I need. And with what I found out from the physical examination, this boy is my perfect subject. There were certain telltale marks in his body only I would recognize. But you know what might happen. Might. In science, one must be sure. I'm going to take this out of the realm of possibilities into the world of exact science. If I'm successful, then I can be certain. But you're sacrificing a human life. Do you cry over a guinea pig? This boy's a free police case. We're probably saving him from the gas chamber. The boy is so young and the transformation horrible. You call yourself a scientist. That's why you've never been more than an assistant. But if you interfere, if you say one word... No, 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 Alfred. You can trust me. Yes, I know that. You've been more than an assistant on other occasions. Accomplice would be a better word. What is the plan? Through hypnosis, I'm going to regress this boy back. Back into the primitive past that lurks within him. I'm going to transform him and unleash the savage instincts that lie hidden within. And then? Then I'll be judged a benefactor. Mankind is on the verge of destroying itself. The only hope for the human race is to hurl it back into its primitive dawn, to start all over again. What's one life compared to such a triumph? I only feel a scratch, believe me.
This makes the hypnosis more comfortable and prepares the way for analysis. Now, remember, I don't want to be disturbed. Tony, you must think of this as a trip, a sort of voyage of discovery. On the way, we'll find out many fascinating things about you. And in the end, you will no longer be disturbed or troubled, because you will be you. You've placed yourself in my hands. I'm the pilot, and you the passenger. But instead of going forward into space, we're going backwards in time. Begin at 100 and count backwards. We'll start together. 100. 100. 99. 99. 98. 98. 73. 73. 72. 72. Quickly, tell me, where are you? On the beach. How old are you? About 12, I think. Go on. I'm playing with some kids. One of the older, older boys tries to take away one of her toys. He grabs it and runs away. And what do you do? I run after him. I jump him. I scratch him, choke him. He's older than I am, but, but he begins to cry. Some, some people gather around us, and, and I... That'll be all for today. You may wake up. Wake up! You okay, Tony? I'll see you day after tomorrow at the same time. Don't worry, my boy. Soon you'll be yourself, your true self. Fifteen. Fifteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Twelve. Eleven. Eleven. Where are you now, Tony? Where are you? Very small. Tell me what you're doing. I don't know. Two. Two. One. One. Now where are you, Tony? Concentrate. Where are you now? I don't know. I don't know it. It's dark. Cold. Where? Where? You tell me. Please tell me. I'll help you because I'm your friend. It will all become clear to you. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Remember how it felt to run over the hills in the moonlight? To hide by the stream, to wait in silence until... No. No. Remember how wonderful it was when you sprang suddenly, dug in with your fangs, a soft throat, the gush of warm blood? No. No! Yes. I want you to remember. You must remember. You know, Vic, you're good enough to sign up with a band. You've had lots of offers. Oh, get off my back, will you? Isn't that what you told me? Tony, you can tell me to shut up if you want. But you're not with it tonight. No, I'm not. Like you're not yourself. Yes, I'm not myself. I think I'll take Arlene home. Come on, honey, let's get out. 
That's right. I promised your folks I'd have you home by midnight. You let's home, Frank? And it's fear with you, lovebirds? No, thanks. Everybody else is paired up. How are you going to get home? How will I get home? I'll get home on my feet. I'll walk. I'll take that shortcut through the woods. Brings me right out by the power works. Why don't you two join us at Ruby's drive-in? No, we're going right home. Go on, Tony. We'll lock up. Oh, so you've joined the exclusive set. No, you just talk too much, that's all. I'm for peace and quiet. Oh, come on, Tony. Let's go. Good night, Arlene. See you tomorrow, Tony. Don't forget math. First thing in the morning, early. Sure, I'll sack in right away. Hello? Who's there? These are official pictures? Yes, Chief. Strange. Who found the body? Art Logan, the auditor out at the power works. Takes that shortcut through the woods every morning. Says it's the only exercise he gets. Mm-hmm. Any idea how long the boy's been dead? No, maybe the PM will show. The coroner has the body. That's strange. Slash on each side of his throat. Got any ideas? No. Boy had no enemies. There weren't any gang fights in Rockdale. Any bruises, scratches on his face, clothing ripped off? No. Well, then how was the boy killed? You got any theories? Not a shiv. Not hands. Teeth? Fangs. 
thanks. <laughs> There's no wild animals around here. I've walked these woods since I was knee-high to a duck. I've never seen anything wilder than a tomcat. I know. That's what makes it so hard to believe. But I still say fangs. Maybe if the boy had a chance to fight, his fingernails will show something. Let's hope so. In the meantime, let's keep the lid clamped down on this until the official reports come through. Maybe even after that. Whatever it is, we've got to be sure. I told Art Logan not to say a word. Good. Keep these locked now files. Yes, Chief. Just one rumor about Fangs and the newspapers will have a field day. Not just the local papers, but reporters from all over the country will have on-the-spot coverage, photographers. They'll have a field day, all right. But here in Rockdale, we'll have a panic. Yeah, I know. But I'm more worried about the teenagers at the school. And check the surrounding town, see if a carnival, a circus, or a county fair has been setting up their tents. Also, see if anybody has a private menagerie. Maybe a big cat got loose some way. If I were you, I'd talk to the farmers in the surrounding areas. Sometimes they keep a wild dog for protection. Hmm. Whatever it is, we've got to be sure. Facts first. And don't encourage any rumors. Right. Well, now I've got to go and see the mayor. Hi, Peppy. I'm going down to the lab. Better get those pictures locked up in the file. Peppy, how are you? Oh, Chris, uh, do you mind if I take a look at that picture? You know the boy? Once in a while, I played pinochle with his father. Very small stakes. Uh, yes, I knew the boy, but perhaps uh, I have a better reason. Let me see the picture. You're not to say anything about this to anyone, understand? It's going on 12 years that I'm working here. Have I ever said a word? What's the matter? You see something we missed? The poor boy. Poor boy. Peppy, I don't blame you for being upset. Imagine how his family feels. I know what killed him. You do? He was killed by... by a werewolf. Sorry. Welcome, my friends. Well, I tell you what, uh... uh girls, are you enjoying this movie? I'm loving it. I, I like it, but... Yeah? Know, yeah? There, there's one aspect I, about it I don't like. But okay, we'll talk that? about that later on. As oh, okay, we... okay. How about okay. you? How about you? I like you. <laughs> she oh, she likey, likey, likey. She likey, likey, likey. likey, likey, likey. Yeah. I do yeah. get to watch some films while I'm out in the seas, but yeah. like not a lot. I'm, as I said, I'm, I'm busy maintaining the crew, okay. making sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah. yeah. And you know, every now and then I see a ship in the distance, and well, yeah, attack of opportunity. Cool. Yeah, cool. Absolutely. Cool. Sometimes so, I bring trinkets back for them, but sometimes I keep it for myself. Yeah. So, girls, yeah. what do you what do you think about the, the guys playing pranks on the girls? Oh, it was so funny. I loved them all. I loved every single prank. Did you? I did. They're oh, classic. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, you can't go wrong with a classic prank. Okay. Well, I, actually, the guys were getting pranked too. Right. Right. Yeah. The guy was at that saying that really weird song. The one that went through the yeah. door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And which brought me to mind about a prank that Carrie taught me one time. And okay. that's uh, fill up a bucket full of blood and dump it on somebody. Ah, uh -huh. I'm not cleaning that. <laughs> no, I'll be... Swab the deck. No, we I have other people be. do that. <laughs> what? We're going to have to use some of her people. Yeah, okay. Or we'll yes. just get chooky. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Or we'll just drink it. Well, I'll yeah, but then I guess it's cold. Drink it. I know. You know. I like it when it's nice and warm. I don't like a cold, I slushy thing. Yeah. Uh, no. But you notice, uh, you notice he's got anger issues. And yes. He does. He's got a lot he of... Up, he's, he's had it from the beginning. He is yeah. not I mean, a normal worse. kid. But now he's told to go to see a doctor. Yeah. And I like, am not liking this doctor whatsoever. Well, this, no, doctor, no. this doctor said that he uh, is perfectly normal, vitals, mm -hmm. everything. You're, perf you're a perfectly normal teenager. It's just, uh, I want to do an experiment on you. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. This doctor really, what he really wants to do is he wants to make a superhuman, a human superhuman. 
He does. Okay. He wants a superhuman, hairy a human. human. Yeah, uh, yeah, super hairy. That he human. obviously yeah. that he can control, which is never going to happen. Yeah, yeah, it's a super, it's a superhuman, hairy human. Right. Yeah. I'm not going to try and say that. <laughs> You're not. So no. Come on, I got fangs and I can see it. Good for you. Superhuman, hairy human. Mm. <laughs> Try three times at home yourself. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, all right. I, Record I think, it and show it to us. Yeah. I think. Yeah, definitely. That would be a good idea. I think so Deadpool. Page. Yeah, I think Deadpool's taking donations or something because he's standing there with a cauldron. Oh, because I asked for my cauldron. You don't need Thank cauldron. you, Deadpool. Yes. I, I knew need, why. I always have to have my cauldron. Are you trying to get brownie points over there, Mister? Okay. Mm. <laughs> he heard. He must have heard me say, "I want, where'd my cauldron go?" Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah, I want you to too. Go to your corner. Oh, go to your corner. Oh. Yep. Black hat man, really? Francis. Go to your corner. Aww. Okay, you can sit in front of the set. You can sit down in front of the set. Yeah, right there. You can sit yep. down right there. Pop a squat. Yep. yep. Pop. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Perfect. All right. Hey, now look at the camera. Oh. There you go. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, he's been following her, so she wants to nail him. She was going to fall. Five minutes I know. break. Five minutes break. <laughs> yep. So anyway, uh, yeah. Watch out. <laughs> I do not like this. Uh, so what mm -hmm. you got there, Storm? What is that? It's a crystal with candlelight. What's the What's the theory behind that? That's an amethyst yeah. crystal. That's an amethyst. amethyst is am all good. Yeah, amethyst is for all good. That's a crystal quartz okay. candle. I mean, they're all. Uh, are you cold? How can you be Even cold? in all that? <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. So, uh, but yeah, they're for all for just, they're for different types of things, but they're for good. Let's good just vibes. say that. Good okay. vibes. Okay. Good vibes. Okay, cool. Fun times. Yeah, that's really cool. Yes. I like them. Yep. So anyway, uh, his friend, mm -hmm. uh, they're going to leave uh, the party, but he asked his friend if he wanted to ride, and his friend's like, no, I'm going to take a walk through the woods. Right. He knew how to get home through the woods. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. I'm like... How could it be Tony? You know, he got killed. The kid got killed. Yeah, true, true, true. Yeah. You know? uh, yeah, yeah. You never go into the woods alone by yourself. I mean, that's just like scary movie 101. It's like yeah. watching a blonde, instead of running outside the house, run up the stairs. Yeah. And then trip. Oh yeah, never Not get their phone. Trip. Yeah. yeah. Or, or keys to be able to drive away. And then you just stay there and you look while you're tripped and you're just backing up on yeah. the ground instead of yeah. getting up and running again. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. That's okay. You can yeah. stay put for me. Okay. Uh, put it away. Okay. All right. No. So we'll get well, you want to know? You want to know the funny thing about it what? is the sheriff was talking to this uh, caretaker, mm -hmm. Peppy, and Peppy knew. Yeah. The curse of the werewolf. Uh, yep, yeah. and he never he never caught one. Peppy, is that correct? Peppy, yeah, Peppy the Pew. He had said he never <laughs> caught one. He's nobody knows nobody. about the curse of the yeah. werewolf. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. This doctor, I'm just not liking. Nah, I experimenting on this kid. I yeah. Just, I think he's got alternative plans, and just I don't know. Okay. I don't like him. Well, how about it, girls? Let's let's rip into our top ten real quick. Yes. Sounds yes. good. Okay. All right. So, all right, all right. It was, uh, what is your favorite werewolf movie? And I tell you what, we got a ton of, a ton of them. Mm -hmm. But thank you. There's some really, there's some really popular ones in here. Yeah, yeah there are yeah. some old, some new. Yeah. Right. Yep. So Number one, Michelle Stiller, The ha Howling. A that lot is, of. Oh. Yep. Yeah, a lot. No. Yep. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Dan Bedell, Bubba the Redneck. Werewolf, which we only got one on that one. <laughs> I never seen it's, it. It's yeah, you know, funny. it's like Bubba Hope. Uh, was it Bubba Hope? Yeah, yeah, yeah Bubba it's, Hope. It's that level of yeah. cheesy. Yeah. Is there? Oh, you you seen it? You know? Okay. Roger Schultz. Schultz. Hey, Roger. American Werewolf in London. That was probably our most popular one. Yeah. Yes, rock on. Uh, Paul Connellis, The Wolfman, original. Very good. Mm -hmm. There you go. The original. Yeah. Number five, Clint Solberg, Dog Soldier. That oh, came in that second. Is. Dog Soldiers was mm, fun. I yeah. love that. <clears throat> so I have Tammy Lee, Teen Wolf. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Tammy. And then we got Paul Little, Underworld. Yes. All of them. Yes. Hello, awesome. Captain Paul. As a matter of fact, I, think, uh, I think my fiance kind of my favorite looks movie. like uh, Underworld there. The weather and... 
Yeah. Already, you guys are already uh, in the underworld. Or it, we have achieved. Oh. Yes. Anyway, okay. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Franklin Mon, Silver <laughs> Bullet. Yes, mm -hmm. another good one. Silver, just bad. Yes. Uh, Tamara Strand, Wolf. Yes, mm -hmm. with Jack Nicholson and Michelle Pfeiffer. Yes, I'll that was a good story. movie. Mm -hmm. And then Max Edgin, which is Werewolves on Wheels. Yes, 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 yes. I can't wait to do that movie. I just, I, I'm literally visualizing a werewolf just in like one of those those uh, wheelchairs, actually, just like going after people. <laughs> actually, <laughs> I'm gonna nibble your butt. Actually, what it is is it's uh, it's a bunch it's a biker gang, uh, and uh, one of the guys in the gang gets bit by a werewolf. Okay. And then he turns his other buddies into werewolves, okay. and so he got werewolves on wheels. I'm still visualizing nice. the nice. wheelchair and nibbling on butts. So okay. Nice. Right. I think we should put them back into the movie, though. Okay. Yes. All that we've read. Okay. Well, All right. So get back to the movie. Yes. A what? In the old country, in my little village, in the Carpathian Mountains, there was a story passed on from generation to generation. Some say it was a legend. I know it was the truth. I'll tell you what werewolf is. It's a human being possessed by a wolf. When the evil eye is on you, the savage beast somehow gets inside and controls you, makes you look and act like a wolf, makes you hunt down your victim and kill it like a wolf. Yes, kill you with fangs, like a wolf. Why, well, you're crazy. You better not let anyone hear you talk like that, Pepe. You'll wind up in a booby hatch. Werewolf. Come on. Yes, that's what I said the first time it was told to me. But later, what I saw, what I heard, convinced me. I'm going to put these away and lock the fire. You just forget I never showed them to you. Yes. I'll be glad to forget this, if I can. Oh, how awful. Poor Frank. Well, hello, Tony, my boy. Come on in. You're a little early, but welcome. Thanks, Dr. Brannon. I... Well, the reason I came early is... You don't have to tell me why. Let me be the one to interpret the symptoms. After all, you have placed yourself in my hands, so to speak. Tony, punctuality is a phase of adjustment. Sometimes the patient leans backward to be prompt, comes even before his appointment. Now, is that clear? No, doctor, that's not why I'm here. I wanted to tell you about something... Now, you I... don't have to tell me now. I'll hear it all under hypnosis. I'll get the injection ready. Is the scopolamine ready? Yes. Alfred, you read the paper. You know what happened. There's a difference between a newspaper story and a scientific report. I have to be sure. Even in a minor experiment. You know how many guinea pigs are used up before the trailblazer is ready to announce a new discovery to the scientific world? Surely you know how skeptical scientists are. Indeed, have to be. But you realize the consequences. I realize that I have an old woman for an assistant. If you mean I have a heart, I don't consider that an insult. I mean that you're standing in the way of progress. Progress? Do you call it progress to hurl back the human race to its savage beginnings? It may prove to be the only road to progress. Go ahead, my boy. Dr. Brandon, the... there's something I have to tell you. I, I, I don't know if it really happened. It's more like a nightmare. I, I, now, Tony, very often in psychotherapy, strange things seem to happen. Sometimes when we light up the dark corner of the human mind... Doctor! Doctor, please help me. And do exactly as I say. All I can tell you is that your progress is excellent. I've even told the principal of your school that. Yes, I'm extremely pleased with the progress you've been making. And soon, Tony, very soon, you'll be your true self again. Now, this is a map of the area. We'll start with the abandoned house. Teenagers call it the haunted house. You question them? Yeah, just informally. They had a party after a football game and went home. 
They all drove except Frank, who walked through the woods. How about his parents? His mother's in a state of shock. His father wants to know just one thing. What are the police doing about this? Yeah, that's it. They'll all be down on us unless we find the killer. Chief Baker. Yeah. Donovan. Yeah. OK, thanks. Picked up a couple of vagrants out of the freight yard. Well, go ahead. I'll be right in. Well, I checked the neighboring towns. There aren't any circuses, carnivals, or county fairs. If they come at all, they come in the spring. How about the farms? I checked those, too. They mostly truck, very little livestock, a few pigs penned up, some horses. There's a mink farm about three miles north of here. But they're all baby mink. First thing they do is cut off their teeth. Oh, no. Well, that's no good. Well, everything seems to lead to a dead end. Very good, Teresa. Your form is improving. Thank you, Miss Dolphin. But I must repeat, we're judged on points, and Linwood High has won the gymnastic events three years in a row. Oh, I certainly hope we win this time. So do I. Have you had enough for today? I've got to go. Oh, gee, I'd like to practice for about another half hour. Well, you don't need me. Just remember the other pointers I gave you. I've got some shopping to do. You go right ahead. Anyway, you make me very self-conscious, breathing down my neck all the time and picking on all my mistakes. I just want to try it a few more times. That's the spirit. Good night. Will you come in, Tony? I hope you didn't mind waiting. I had some reports to finish. Well, uh, you wanted to see me? Yes, I wanted to have a little chat with you. And for heaven's sakes, Tony, don't look so glum or so suspicious. For once, we meet on a friendlier basis. No, you're not going to chew me out, then. As you say, I'm not going to chew you out. Sit down, Tony. Thank you. I have a report here from Dr. Brandon. Naturally, all this is kept strictly confidential. It's a report of progress, which I'm happy to confirm. You mean he says I'm adjusting? Very much so. Your grades are about the same, but then your grades were always high. However, your conduct is very much improved. Tony, you're coming along just fine. Thanks, I'm glad. And as a reward, I want you to know that if you continue this way, you'll earn an honor certificate. Yes, Tony? I'll recommend you to the State College. Your grades will be high and your deportment will match. This means so much to me, Miss Ferguson. So far, every pupil I've recommended has reflected great credit on Rockdale High. And I know you will. So keep it up till graduation. Then you'll be off to your real career. Thanks a lot. I always knew that if somehow we could just break through to you, I mean, really get inside of you, you'd be a credit to your father and to your school. Thank you. You're welcome. Dismissed.
Did you recognize him? I'll call the police. I'll call the police! Miss Ferguson, I, I know this is difficult. Anything you can do to help us. He... It came running out of the gymnasium. I recognized the jacket. The trousers. They were the same? The same. But the face. The eyes. I never saw anything like it before. But you recognized him. It was Tony, all right. It was his jacket. Anybody chase him? No, it all happened too fast. Besides, we were paralyzed, man, just too paralyzed. And then he disappeared? Yeah, like an animal. He jumped the fence and ran to the fields. blocked off. At all points bulletin has gone out, there's no way he can possibly escape. He? Well, he, yet. Call it what you will. Seems to me werewolf would be more appropriate. Very well, then. I realize it makes a better story. Werewolf. In the meantime, what protection are you giving the people, uh, especially the teenagers? The very best we possibly can. Parents have been warned to keep their children at home. Theaters, recreation halls, bowling alleys have all been shut down. What about the werewolf? Posse's been formed. They're going to start right away. But in the meantime, the werewolf is at large. But not for long. You hope. You'll find this is different than tracking down the ordinary criminal. You're dealing with the cunning, the ruthlessness of something that is supernatural. Oh, come now. Let's don't add to the panic that already exists. The people are entitled to know everything, and my paper's going to see that they get it. Maybe if you hadn't kept the first murder so secret. Don't try to place the blame for this. We did everything that was reasonable, in the interest of public protection and safety. All right. May we see the official pictures? No, they're locked in our files. You can't keep this a secret, Chief. The second murder has blown the lid off. A TV truck is on its way out right now. Teenagers are going to be interviewed. Parents, teachers. A psychologist was involved too, wasn't he? You can't pry into that. Just what are you trying to do, Ed? To the grief of the families already involved? Don't make this a personal issue, Chief Baker. You have your work cut out, we have ours. In that case, gentlemen, you'll understand that we're very busy. Well, there's one thing you can be sure of. We'll be with you every step of the hunt from now on. Oh, I'm sure of that, Mr. Doyle. Doctor, what's your opinion? I'm sorry, Sergeant, but I cannot be swayed by mass hysteria. But there were eyewitnesses who swear they saw him. Hallucinations. I'd have to see this so-called beast with my own eyes. After all, a scientist needs a platform of concrete facts before venturing an opinion and overwhelming proof before stating a conclusion. 
Doctor, this is hardly the time for a lecture. You had Tony under your professional care. You were with him time and again. You were supposed to help him. As far as I know, I did. His behavior after I took the case proves that. Did you come across any hint, a clue? Did he reveal anything? I keep careful case histories of all my patients, but I don't need to tell you that's a matter of strict confidence between doctor and patient. Yes, I'm aware of that. However, we hoped you would cooperate, help us. Don't you think you're wasting a lot of valuable time interrogating me? After all, your duty is to try and find this, uh, this young man. Why do you shy away from the word? Everyone's using it. Werewolf. I do not subscribe to old wives' tales. It's my belief that these legends or myths passed out with the invention of electricity. After all, this is America, modern America, not a hamlet in the Carpathian Mountains. What do the Carpathian Mountains have to do with us? That's where the legend was born. The people there believe in werewolves. When the shadows of night creep over their gloomy hills, the hungry dogs howl in the moonlight, the peasants cross themselves and hide in their huts. Any canine they see with sharp white teeth and glittering eyes they call a werewolf. Doctor, you seem to know a great deal about these myths. I amuse myself with fantasy. I live by facts. Hi, Peppy. You're in late tonight. Oh, Chris. Uh, would this teenage girl killed the same way? Yeah, same way. I told you. I knew. A werewolf. Tell me something, Peppy. In the old country, did they ever catch a werewolf? Never. Did ever give you any indications? Never, never. Do you realize that if this thing had come over him when he was with you... Now, there's no use upsetting our little girl any more than she is now. So I let you talk to her in the first place. Yes, I think that's enough. She's been crying ever since this thing happened. She must get more rest. Well, uh, just one more picture. Now, you're not going to let her go to school. Well, school's closed till this thing is over. Anyway, we'll protect her right here in her own home. You don't really believe that your son no, is we... No, I, I can't believe. What kind of a boy was Tony? Is Tony. He was always on the quiet side. Kept pretty much to himself. Maybe I should have remarried. A good woman around the house. The affection of a mother. A boy needs that. Especially when he's grown up. Not that Tony ever complained. I even asked him, does he miss, should I? He said, no, Dad. We'll get along all right, just two of us. As if he knew no woman could ever replace his mother in my heart. Or in his. What I mean is, uh, did he always obey you? Yes. Only I hadn't know how to ask him. Ask him the right way, and he'd do anything. Tony's a good boy. I don't care what they say. Tony's a good boy. Yet he hasn't come home, or you haven't heard from him since he left his school early this morning. Now, certainly he must know how worried you are. Of course, you know what the principal and his teenage friends are saying about the terror, how it looked. Now, wouldn't this indicate to you that perhaps Tony's... Leave me the... alone, will you? Leave me alone. Pat, men are all ready. Oh, uh, thanks. This may seem like a long shot, Donovan, but if we can capture it before morning, save the community a lot of trouble and panic. You can try, but night in the woods is going to be tough. One thing in our favor, 
can't go very far. I can only travel on foot. Also, it's got to stop to rest and eat. Let's go. All right, now, we'll move in stagger fashion. We'll circle the outer edges first, and keep going round and round till we meet in the center. If you run across it, or even if you see any suspicious tracks, notify me immediately on the walkie-talkie. I don't fire unless you're attacked. I won't try to bring this thing in alive, if possible. Oh, another thing. When we get further in the woods, I want you to light the torches. Animals are afraid of fire. Maybe werewolves are, too. All right, let's go. Come on, Donald. All right, men, close up. We're going to light the torches. Now, Ed, Charlie, take a couple of torches and go on up the hill there. Donovan, will you take a man and beat up this ravine? All right. All right, you go ahead. Well, my friends, I hope you're enjoying the show. I really think this is a really cool show. Mm -hmm. um, what's your favorite part so far? Um, my favorite part was the party, the Halloween party. Yeah, yeah. What, what do you yeah. got that out for now again? Well, that pool was pulling on your hair. I didn't feel it. Yeah, he was. That there he is again. There you are. Hey, Death Pool. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Death Pool. Yeah. Everybody I, say I, hi to Death Pool. Hi, Death Pool. I see him all the time. Yeah. He's actually, I don't know why I'm doing this, he protects me too, so. Yeah, except he's got a gun with holy water. Yeah, he's Where got to get, get the holy water. water. Like that. Don't look at me. Okay. No, we won't. Right. <laughs> it was when we were hit port one time, he probably thought it was a good idea in case other vampires came after me. Oh. Which is really but, kind of goofy, but yeah, whatever, right. anyway. Okay, all right. Uh, all right. Well, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't. You still talk to I, me. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Really? And sometimes I think I need a collar for him. Really? A collar? Yes. Maybe I need, need one too. Yes. Do you need a collar? For you. I'm just looking at what, what's going uh, on with you. I, I, I can't. I'm, I'm like, Did you I don't just know. Confused? I'm just looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Do you have so, any swords? No swords Everybody today? says he's. Okay. Everybody says he's doing good. You know, his doctor says he's doing yep. good, but he needs to keep giving him more, uh, you know, Keep giving him a shot, yep. Mm. And uh, he went to go talk to his principal, and she's like, you're doing great. I'm even going to reprimand you to a, a state college. Right. Now, how about that? Yeah, yeah, well, that's mm. fabulous. Yeah, I think that's awesome. Mm -hmm. I think that's really good. And now, cool. that's something that would calm him down, too, if he didn't have this yeah. problem that yeah. the doctor is, you know, helping with. Yeah. What do you think about, do you like the movie Death Pool? All you gotta do is yes or no. You have an idea. Mm -hmm. What? More movie. More movie? Oh, yeah. 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 We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. 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 You get enough time to watch movies on the boat. Yeah. But okay. you know. I'm the one that's busy. You just watch. You like movies. You think it's some sort of cruise. The funny thing about this is. Yeah. Is, um. He kills this gymnast right after he gets in talking to the principal. Yeah. What? Why? I, that I, I, yeah. I didn't understand why his me, anger wouldn't have been wait, controlled, wait. but he wasn't very well balanced on the beam. <laughs> <laughs> he was actually very clumsy. He was falling oh. over everything. Oh. Acting like a typical werewolf. Werewolves are clumsy. Yeah, they are. To the yeah. feet. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's why they got run on all four. No tail. They're not like a cat. Yeah. They're not like a vampire. No. no. Yeah. 
So anyway, uh, yeah, he kills this gymnast, and then he takes off and runs past everybody. And uh, yeah. they're like, did you see that? And, and did you see that? And everybody's like, yeah. Well, and then the one guy says, well, I know the jacket. <laughs> uh -huh. Right, and see, that's yeah. where they found out. Okay, yeah. The, uh, yeah. So they, now, yeah. then so, that's where they end up going right. for, to his dad's house, seeing if he's seen him, yeah. correct? Yeah, and so now the sheriff is starting to begin, starting to be, getting to believe that he is dealing with something supernatural. Yeah. 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 You know, right? cops, they never believe in the supernatural. It's, no. You know no. what? It's a great advantage, though. It is a great advantage. Because they can't prove it. That's why. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And people would be like, he'd be trying to prove it, and people like, you need to get your, get, get checked. Yeah. 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 What have you been smoking? <laughs> Can you see? Steph, well, what are you doing? Are you you want to go swimming? He, he, Don't go swimming. I will yeah. kick Do not go swimming the in the bowl. Do not jump in the moat. We just put Alex, lampreys no, in no, there. No, 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 go. And go. alligators. Yeah, and alligators. He are, called yeah, for go an play alligator. With the gator. I haven't fed the alligators today, so go jump. Go play with the don't, gator. Don't, don't. Go play with the gator. Okay, she said go play with the gator, so. Go play with the gator. Well, if you lose yeah. a limb, you'll just grow it back. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Lucky you. Yeah, lucky you. Uh, what? One moment. Okay, one moment. What? What? Go play with the gator. That's a bucket. Okay. Okay, it's a bucket of blood. Speaking he of blood. wants oh. the bucket of blood, but okay. it's got a okay. USA flag on it, so okay. he wanted to be right. patriotic with blood. All right. There All right. you go. That's right. Yeah. So what did you, you think about the hunt, them getting a hunting party together? That's good. Cool. Uh, you know what? Is it a flashback for you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, kind of like, kind of like going in a bucket. <laughs> is there a hole in the bucket? I, I don't know. It could be a leaker. Oh. It could be, a, yeah. <laughs> Do we get it? <laughs> so, yeah. So anyway, uh, enough of talking about the movie. Uh, you, we were yes. actually talking about some pro uh, project that you're doing that's kind of affiliated with Very Digger. excited for you. Yes. Um, what I decided to do, because I do have some crew and, and in between chores, they get a little bored. Mm -hmm. And so I decided to try and find the campiest, the ghoulish, the most classic movies out there, and to have my crew enjoy and slash torture them at the same time. That was a dual achievement on this. It's awesome. Okay. Cool. So you know we're gonna um, watch the movies. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so and we're gonna do some some cheesy commentary in there too because okay. some of them nice. are classic like yeah. I, I, I call it the carpet monster if I can find it I'm yeah. going to show it okay it's bad it's cheesy but it's fun and then while I'm plundering the seven seas I'm probably gonna find some ships and they're gonna become part of my crew so they're gonna have I'm gonna have some guest people show on every now and then nice yes and um, hopefully when I come into port if they want to see my uh, my pirate ship because I haven't seen it yet yeah, so, cool. Do you have any well, maintenance we will, aboard? We will come on board. Um, when we hit port, they usually hop on and entertain the crew. Who, but every now and then they stay on. Ah, oh, okay. gotcha. Well, okay. we'll have to we'll have to come in we'll have to come in uh, and go for a uh, go sailing on your ship. Yes. Do you yes. mind yes, if sure, we sure. ever just stop in? Um. Like as in flying, or yeah, like, like when well, I hit can, port. She, she's a witch. She can I just, snap. Oh, the that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Snap, crackle, pop. All right, yeah. fair enough. <laughs> we'll stand aside if you're busy, but yes, yeah. yes. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. cool. Okay. So keep awesome. us keep us posted on what's yes. going on. Absolutely. And it's, it's called. Uh, I decided to call it uh, Black uh, Black Cat. The I don't know if I'm going to do Black Cat the Vampire or just do Black Cat Black Cat's Creature Features. Oh, cool. Cool. Awesome. I need to get used to saying that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Whichever yeah. one yeah. you choose, you'll yes. get used to saying that. Yes. 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 I think they both sound good. Yeah, yeah kind of like Harry, Human Harry. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> or she sells sea silk. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She, yeah. she sells sea silk. I'm not going to try okay. it. So I'm not yeah. used to them yet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right, my friends. What we're going to do is we're going to put you into the rest of the movie and enjoy. enjoy.
Hold it. Well, Donovan, did you see anything? There's a dog back up there he killed. Oh. Well, he's got to be in here someplace. No sense looking for him in this light, though. Well, look, Donovan, post guard so he can't possibly escape. We've got to get him. Answer it. Just tell him to give himself up. Tell him it's the best way. Advise him as his father to surrender. Hello? Thanks. Thanks. It's only the foreman. I'm not being docked for staying home tonight. Let's see if that matters. Let's see if anything could matter. If only knew for sure he's still alive. Ripped off. How do you know it's his? The official description, he wore a jacket like this. Yeah, but how do you know that's part of his jacket? You know, I think we better call headquarters. Alfred, don't interrupt Hugo. Alfred, aren't you wasting your time? Or do you have a second victim in view? I'm not wasting my time, and I don't like to hear the subject of a world-shaking experiment referred to as a victim. Call him what you like, but he's being hunted down like a dangerous animal. And after he's captured... I'm not so sure he will be captured. 
The transformation into a werewolf is not all on the minor side. It also gives the subject the cunning of an animal. And you think somehow he will come here? All I have to do is wait. He must come here. I'm the only link he has left on his last hope. Next time, use a crosswalk. So one or more people aren't killed. Hello? Hello? Whoever he was, he, he hung up. Do you recognize his voice? I couldn't be sure. Look, miss, if you're trying to protect him by holding back anything, you're wrong. His best bet is to give himself up. Well, I only heard the word hello. How could I be sure? Sergeant Donovan. Where? Tenth and Hudson. Thank you. Tenth and Hudson. What came in? Somebody just caught sight of him. Downtown? Makes sense. No trace of him in the woods, and all the roads are blocked. Let's go, Chris. The results of the case of Mrs. Banks indicate that... I was expecting you. Come on in, Tony. Dr. Brennan, I know what I am. What I become. Help me, doctor, please! I know they're gonna catch me, but don't let anyone see me like that! Please, doctor, help me! Please help me! Of course, Tony, of course. Come on over here. Alfred, I beg you. It's too late to bring the dead back to life. But at least you can help him. Help correct that terrible mistake. Mistake? You dare call a scientific triumph a mistake? 
What are you going to do now? He must make the voyage back once more. I must see with my own eyes and record with my own camera. Here, you'll be the witness. We'll have it all on film. From the time I first give him the injection through the transformation. And then no one will doubt my word. Even the most exacting, the most skeptical of scientists will be convinced that I have penetrated the deepest secrets of creation. That I have achieved the first perfect case of regression. Stop him. friend you've got. They'll see him this way now. What about him? I don't know. My hunch is the score was even. Boy, the newspapers will just eat this up. Yeah. But after they've had their field day, one thing will be clear. It's not for man to interfere in the ways of God. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this movie. Uh, I was a teenage werewolf. Uh, what did you think of it? I liked it. I thought it was a good movie. I thought, yeah, for an older movie as well, you know, yeah. a, a classic. I thought it was. I thought it was really cool. good and cool the way that they made transformed him. Yeah. Into yeah. a werewolf. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Oh, what well, you could do back then was just. I thought. It, awesome. I thought it was pretty good. I mm -hmm. thought I liked it. You know, I like the whole series runs. You know, with the yeah. Frankenstein, the vampire, and uh, how to make a monster. Right. Well, well how did you like this movie? I liked it. I I think it's really interesting on what they could do with the prosthetics and makeup and everything yeah. like that back right. then. Yeah. Like, I remember seeing one particular movie, it was a black and white, and um, how they made the skin begin to change shape and stuff like that. They, like, literally yeah. put tiny micro or tiny airbags under the fake skin to make it kind of puff out yeah. And, yeah. 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 and act like yeah. it was starting to change shape. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. Very good. Very good. That's uh. good checking into that. Yeah. So, well, anyway, uh, the doctor gets killed. 
Yeah. And then... Uh, not a surprise. Now he gets killed, but mm -hmm. the, cop, the cops come and shoot him. Yeah. yeah. Now nothing was ever said about silver bullets. That's the only way you can no, kill oh, no. a werewolf. Right, right. I think it's because everyone like just automatically assumed, even back then, silver bullet. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. But maybe also back then, maybe bullets were... had a uh, silver... Uh, mineral in it. Okay, I don't like, know. Could have. It, it, right. Probably saw or, bullets had lead in them. <laughs> or maybe it's because of the doctor helping him out, making yeah. him into more of a werewolf. Uh, that, who knows? I don't yeah, know. I, yeah, I, I, but he, I they know. shot him. Yeah. They should have brought it up though. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I mean, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you gotta make a point somewhere. Right. Yeah, that's right. So anyway, uh, I wanted to give, uh, I also want to give a shout out here for the Wheaton All Night Flea Market. As far as I know of right now, it's still on. He right. hasn't, uh, canceled it then that's going to be uh i believe august 15th at the dupage county fairgrounds in wheaton illinois from 3 p.m till 3 a.m mm -hmm. so and we're Fun. gonna have so we, we're uh, actually uh starting to get some celebrity guests and stuff that are cool. starting to uh make announcements that they may be added so it's, it's gonna be really cool we're gonna have a really good time yeah and you've been there it's a good yeah. it's a great time yeah and we also hopefully will in on uh my side of the shore Hopefully um, in Iowa they'll still be doing having some happening in yeah, July and yeah. in August. Well, so. according to what I heard, Wisconsin just flat out just canceled everything. Yeah, they, they yeah. Canceled we, state fair. They, so everything. Got oh, staff. I think yeah. Iowa. I think yeah. Iowa still closed their or canceling their state fair too. Simple. What are you doing? He's sweeping. You're sweeping, He's sweeping the, floor? the castle. Okay, I suppose I'll let him do that. Well, we gotta get Chucky. Yeah. He's clean yeah. up Chucky. Yeah. I think. And then another one. We need new bait mates all the time because he bites them yeah. and kills them. Yeah. And then another one is uh, the uh, Wendigo Fest, the first weekend Ooh, in uh, October. Oh my gosh. So so last, right. last year it was fun, but <laughs> it was windy, it was wet, and then the next day it was nice. Yeah. But we, it was a blast. So. It Wendy, was. Yeah. wind, or rain. Yeah. Yeah. And it that wind on. took out It'll some people. This year, stuff. yeah. But this year it's going to be different. It's going to be indoors now. Oh, yep. that's right. Yeah. We're yes. just going to be at the, it's going to be at the fairgrounds. Okay. Right off the interstate in Manitowoc. And uh, there's going to be camping available. Mm hmm And also uh, the, all the bands, there's going to be bigger stages for the bands. Oh, yeah. sweet. And uh, like I said, it's going to be indoor. All the vendors are going to be indoors. Fine. Okay, cool. So, so we yeah. camping. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Oh, camping awesome. for everybody. Yeah. It's only $10. This is the one for only $10. Yeah, correct? $10 for only all three $10 days. All oh. three days. Yeah. A parade, everything. Yes. Costume yeah. contest, mm -hmm. uh, celebrities going to be there. I do. Yeah. Uh, we're also going to be judging a tattoo contest. So yes, absolutely. And come along, away, enjoy the fun. We'll be giving away yeah. plaques for that. Yes. Yep. Yep. So that's awesome. going to be fun. Yeah. yeah. So what we are going to do though is we are going to put you into an Igor's morbid cooking tip. And being in the summertime, maybe we'll do something about knives or grilling or something. There you go. So all right, like knives. Perfect. So we will see you again next time on Degger's Dark Coffin Classics. And remember, as always. Happy Nightmares! Scare you soon. Uh, we are coming to you from uh, Deadgar Winter's uh, show, and uh, we like to say a shout out to uh, Deadgar Winter and uh, to all of his crew and staff and everybody there. So, hello and everybody watching uh, from Igor and my staff and my crew. So, hi. <laughs> Anyways, um, today we're going to talk a little bit about gas grilling and charcoal grilling and things like that um, because uh, it's now uh, getting out of winter pretty soon uh, March is coming up and um, April and all that and everybody going to be breaking out their grills so here's a few things that you might uh, want to uh, hang out and uh, learn about doing uh, with gas grills and uh, with charcoal grills and with a gas grill the nice thing about the gas grill of course is uh, that the, uh, the uh, entire cooking surface is an even uh, surface. It cooks the same anywhere on there. There's no highs and low points. Uh, sometimes there's like little shelves that you can get, uh, you know, away from the heat and to keep things warmer and things. But your your cooking surface stays the same. Oh, now with a charcoal long. grill, you can actually build your charcoal higher or lower in areas of your grill to uh, get hotter and milder areas of cooking. So the hotter you you want uh, an area to go. Uh, then you can uh, do that with your with your charcoal or your wood chips, whatever you're using to cook with. Um, when you're cooking meat, steaks or chops, whatever, you want to marinate your meat or your chops or whatever uh, for 24 hours. Always marinate your meat because it makes the meat 
much, much more uh, easy, uh, nicer to cook. Give it up. And uh, it always comes out more flavorful when you marinate uh, and makes them juicier and, and stuff. So you, know, you always want to marinate when you do the, when you do cooking on the grill. Uh, and even it, even when you're cooking inside, it's good to marinate your, your meats and such. Mm -hmm. uh, when you take it out of the refrigerator from marinating, you want to let it stand for about uh, oh, an hour or so to get to room temperature because it will cook better when it is room temperature. Just so you know that. Not, but if you don't know it, you do now. <laughs> Anyways, um, so when you're cooking fish uh, on the grill, you always want to use a spatula and never tongs because if you use tongs, You'll be squeezing the fish and it'll be coming apart and falling apart on you and all you don't want. You'll use a spatula to do that. Um, with fish, when you're cooking it, we, we have what's called a three second rule. Yeah. And what you do is you place your hand above the heat, yeah. uh, a few inches above the heat like so. Yeah. And you can hold your hand there for three seconds yeah. without having to take it away because it's hot. Yeah. Then if, if you can leave it there for three seconds, it's just about right. If you leave it longer than three seconds, it's not hot enough. And if you put your hand there and you're like, oh, I can't do that, it's too hot. So that's a little bit of a way to, to find out whether or not that's called the three second rule. And it actually works well. So remember that. Just don't burn yourself trying to go, I can do it, I can do it, I'm a man. <laughs> don't do that. Okay, so anyways, try that out with your uh, fish like your tuna and your mahi-mahi and your swordfish. These are really good fish to use on the grill because they are firm uh, fish and, and they are, you know, good chunk fish that you can cook on the grill without having any problems with. Um, when you get down to your uh, uh, your trout and your cod, your tuna, things like that, your, your lighter stuff like that, uh, bass, uh, that flake, then you want to use, uh, leave the skin on and cook with the skin on it because otherwise when you go to pick it up to turn it and it's going to all fall apart in your grill. Oh. And believe me, your grill's not really that hungry. So you, you have to do that. Um, so it always squeeze a little lemon juice on there, gives it a little more you know, acidity, cooks really nice, gives it a little flavor, and it also keeps the color nice on the fish as well. <laughs> so that's pretty much uh, you know, what we're going to, uh, what to tell you a little bit about today. Uh, you know, I was actually on a fish diet for a while. That's what, was what I was eating was fish uh, baked and broiled and whatever on fish and stuff. Um, but you know what? When I'm on a diet, I usually I, I get drained. I get so tired all the time. So I went to my doctor. I'm like, doctor, I, why am I so tired all the time on this diet? He says, I don't know. He says, I'd give you some uh, pep pills to keep you pepped up. But the only problem is now I just eat faster. Give it up. Anyway, this is Igor and... Um, we are here with you doing uh, cooking tips as we do uh, from, from time to time. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. We hope you learned something. We hope you will use this uh, when you're doing your cooking and stuff. Watch our shows and hang out with us uh, as much as you can. Cooking is fun and it should be enjoyed. So we'll talk to you soon. This is Igor and uh, scare you soon. Hello everybody, it's Igor here, and uh, we are here today with our uh, morbid cooking tips, and uh, we are going to be doing a little bit of, uh, well, explaining a little bit about knives. This and, is uh, odd. What, what, uh, the easiest way of getting knives, get the, the right knives for you, and uh, what their uses and stuff. It's so, terrible. Um, when you're going to a knife shop, What's that? your best bet to go is to a place where they sell uh, high-end uh, cooking Utensils, cooking uh, stuff, uh, pots, pans, things like a crate and barrel kind of place. You're uh, funny. Or, or a really high-end place like that is where you want to get your knives at. Uh, the best knives, if you uh, read your packaging uh, and look into this, the best knives are made in uh, Germany, yeah. France, yeah. Uh, Sheffield, England, and yeah. then there's a, a place called uh, Seki City in Japan. Yeah. And uh, they make the best knives in the entire world. Um, so uh, those are the places you want to really look to see uh, if they're made there. Now this is if you're going to be paying top dollar for your knife. And if you're a serious chef, you want to put uh, some serious money out on two or three knives. And I think the two knives that you really need the most uh, to start out 
are a uh, 8 to 10 inch chef knife. Wrongful ruin. And that would be something like this, a 8 to 10 inch chef knife. This is very good. Uh, what you do is for chopping your vegetables, uh, cutting anything that you are working on to cut, to uh, cook with, uh, for cutting meats, things like that. That's all you need like that. Um, you can go with a smaller, uh, this is like a six inch knife for smaller stuff. Once you get your uh, 10 inch or eight inch knife, then you can go ahead and get a smaller one for, you, for cutting smaller things. Igor uses this a lot and you'll notice this one on the show. This is a ceramic blade knife from Japan. And uh, it works very, very nicely. Now, um, the next knife that you're going to need is called a paring knife. A paring knife is a little short knife like this here. It's very sharp, very nice. And uh, these are used for coring things and cutting smaller things, like you're using it for your tomatoes and you take your cores out of the tomatoes and things like that. And this comes in very handy for cutting delicate work. So this is a very nice knife here, is, a, is the paring knife. Um, what you want to do is, uh, what, what you're preparing to do is you're going to pay 50 or to $100, maybe even more for, for knives like that. But I tell you what, once you get a knife that you like and you pay that kind of money for that, that knife is going to last you forever. And it's very good for doing what you have to do. You don't want to buy a knife set because if you, when you're buying a knife set and you're getting like, oh, they say, oh, 10 knives and you get everything you'll ever need. Half of those knives you're never even going to use. You're not going to need them. They're not going to come in handy. You're going to need two to three knives. Now, your third knife is an option knife. is a serrated knife, which has the serrated edge on it. Now, this is for cutting breads and things like that. Um, and it comes in handy doing that because if you use a regular knife like this, you're going to crush the bread. You want to be able to, like, saw through things. So if you want to do something like that, you need a serrated knife. And that's your, your next knife there. Um... You also uh, would like to get a, chop, a, a a block to put the knives into a block for safekeeping. Uh, or, or you want to get a magnetic strip which you can put on your counter and just hang the knives on a magnetic strip. It's very easy to store those that way and very easy to get to them when you need them. You just reach over and, ha ha, I've got me a knife. Ah. That caloric um, culprit I, has got something I cooking. Get the little children. Um, so anyways, I always hand wash your knives always hand wash your knives and um make sure they're nice that way and you always hand sharpen them too and you can get your own sharpeners for it to uh, do your own sharpening and uh, it's very easy to do so um these are what you need when you do your knifing and get your uh, kitchen ready to go for your serious cooking lessons for sharpening knives and having your own knife collection. Oh. I just want to say it was very nice hanging out with you today and uh, I hope you uh, get the point oh. with the knives. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Okay, so anyways folks, this is Igor uh, with Morbid Cooking Tips. Very serious.